Hey everyone, this video is going to go over how to soft mod your original Xbox and I'll also show you how to install and run games off the hard drive. Before we dive into the process, you'll need to have a few things ready. You'll need a USB drive compatible with the original Xbox. A link to all compatible drives will be in the description, but I recommend going with this SanDisk Cruiser that I will also link below. This model is still being made and is the easiest to find in my experience. The next thing you'll need is an adapter cable to be able to use the USB with the Xbox. You can find these on eBay or even make one yourself if you know how to solder. There's plenty of tutorials on that process, so I won't go over how to make one in this video, but I will link to it below if you'd like to purchase a pre-made cable. Lastly, you'll need one of the following exploit games. Splinter Cell, Mech Assault, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, or 007 Agent Under Fire. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to soft mod using Splinter Cell. I recommend using this game because any version of it will work. If you choose to use one of the others, I'll include a link in the description where you can check which versions are compatible. We need one of these games specifically because we will be using a modified save file to launch our soft modding tools. Now as far as software and files go, you will also need Explorer 360, this will be used to transfer files to your USB drive, and Rocky 5's soft modding tool, both of which will be linked below. Once you have everything ready, we can finally start modding. The first thing we'll need to do is format your USB so the Xbox will recognize it as a memory card. To do this, it's as simple as plugging it into your Xbox. First, plug in your adapter cable to any of the available controller ports on your Xbox. Then, plug in your USB. Once you do that, navigate over to Memory on your Xbox and you should get this error message. If you do, that means your Xbox recognized it as a compatible drive and you're now ready to transfer files with it. Go ahead and unplug the USB from your Xbox and plug it into your PC. When you do, you'll get a message asking you to format the USB. Make sure you press cancel here anytime that it asks you to format. Next, go to where you saved the Xbox soft modding tool to. It will be named something starting with build 1.1.8. Right click it and extract it to its own folder. Open it up and extract Xbox soft modding tool to its own folder as well. Open the folder named softmod package and inside it you'll find the modded save files for each of the exploit games. Find the zip for your game, I'll be using sc-ntsc for Splinter Cell. Right click it and choose extract here. Do the same for the zip named softmod save. This will make a new folder named udata. Open that folder and you'll see another folder containing the save files. Next, you'll need to find where you saved Explorer 360. Right click it and choose Extract here. Open Explorer 360, click where it says Drive at the top left, click Open, then Hard Drive or Memory Card. You should then see Partition 0 show up. This is your USB Xbox memory card. Now click on Partition 0 and drag in your save files. Now we're done with the setup, you can unplug your USB from your computer and plug it back into your Xbox. Navigate to memory again, select your USB, then move over the two save files to your Xbox hard drive. To do this, scroll to the save file for Splinter Cell, press right to select the save itself, press A, choose copy, then press A again to move the save. Repeat this process for the softmod save file. Once you've moved the files, you can press back until you get to the main menu. Then put in your game, in my case Splinter Cell. If you also chose to use Splinter Cell, you can follow the same instructions that I'm doing here. If not, I'll include a link in the description on where you can see the instructions for your game. So for Splinter Cell, all you'll need to do is choose Start Game, press A on Linux, then choose Checkpoints. If you get stuck on this black screen, don't panic, you can just restart the Xbox, Repeat those steps again, and it should load the next time. If you've done everything correct up to this point, 
you should now see this screen. Press A and it will begin copying files. Once this is done, it'll pop up with a few messages. Press A on each of them. The third message will reset the Xbox. While the Xbox is off, you'll need to quickly eject the disk from the disk tray and remove your game. When the Xbox turns back on, it'll finish the rest of your soft mod, and once it's done, you'll be at this screen. Congratulations, you're now soft modded. I'll also be showing you how to save games to the hard drive. Before that, the first thing I'm going to do is change this to the default skin, because that's what I'm most familiar with. To do this, I'm going to go down to System, select Skins, and change to Default. You don't have to do this step. Now to save a game to the system, simply insert your disk to the console. I'll be downloading Battle for Bikini Bottom. Then from the main menu, go down to System, then select Copy Disk to HDD. Click Yes, and the system will begin saving your game. Once it finishes, press B, scroll to Games, press Start, and select Refresh List. Now press A and you'll see your installed game. To play it, simply press A and it'll launch. Well that wraps it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, but I'll also leave a link to the Battle for Bikini Bottoms Peter on Discord that I highly recommend joining, and you can ask any questions you might have there as well. Thanks for watching.